Hey everybody, I, I just had to kind of laugh at myself because I made this beautiful little word cloud with all of your feedback from, I said, hey, what in one word, how would you describe Intuition Week? So I made this beautiful word cloud I'm going to share with you guys in a little bit. But I wanted to also say something because I've been picking up on some energy and uh, I'd be doing you a disservice if I didn't talk a little bit about it. So um, I know I've said it every single day, but it doesn't hurt to say it again. So intuition week um, is a lot. It's a lot of fun. It's a lot of like, holy shit moments. It's a lot of expansion and intuition building stuff. Um, and it can also be a lot of energy. So for some of you who, you know, they heard, you heard me say, drink lots of water, go outside, lots of self care. You may have heard it and then it went, <laughs> right out one in, what, in one and out the other. Um, now, I don't want you to feel the after effects of having your energy expanded and then crashing afterwards. So um, sometimes after having a lot of energy work, you can feel so high and just like so light and so unstoppable. <laughs> um, but sometimes you can feel like exhausted and just tired and depleted and um, like needing a rest or feeling like bitchy. So signs that you're out of alignment. Um, you get crabby, bitchy, short tempered, you want to be left alone and no one seems to ever leave you alone. <laughs> um, you get irritable really easily. So those are different signs that you might be a little bit out of alignment. So again, the things that you can do to shift your energy from the high vibration of intuition week and then kind of integrating back into the day to day is like I said, drinking lots of water, and I do mean lots of water, um, getting outside in nature, spending time alone. If you have a bath, uh, a bathtub, do Epsom salts, essential oils, maybe throw some crystals in there. Um, and of course, reach out to your newly found friends inside of Life Made Simple or uh, team leaders, or if you've joined Mastering Ascension, you can talk to people in there. Um, energetic up leveling is a real thing. So um, I know it's really hard to talk to most people about it. So this is the place where you can totally do it. Um, and feel free to ask me questions. You can tag me in this thread. Um, I'd be happy to answer any questions at all. Again, sometimes you can feel so, so high and sometimes you can feel like, Pleh. so just know that after energy work, you can, um, you can have a couple days where you just have like a nice, like low kind of quiet time and then your energy will boost right back up. So don't be afraid or don't try to like push yourself through it. Um, just take it at your own pace. So you guys know that I'm here for you and extra, extra support inside of the Mastering Ascension membership. We are only open for a few days this time. We usually open the doors for like three or four, well, usually like four days, I think maybe. Um, but this time we're only opening the doors for three days. So if you are ready to continue to do this deeper um, energy healing and really unlock your intuition so you can connect with more abundance, connect with more people, create more impact in your community and start to like really get out of self doubt and you know, those negative thoughts and indecision and all that heavy stuff. If you're ready to kind of leave that behind, I would really love to, to work with you and get to know you better inside of Mastering Ascension. Um, we are having a fast action bonus today only. You get the Oracle deck um, for free with your annual membership as well as a Soul Flu Line offers checklist. Um, it's like a 200 something dollar value for all these wonderful bonuses that we're just giving you as people who are really committed to this level of growth. It's one thing to say, yeah, I'm going to sign up for intuition. We can do this like free challenge kind of thing. And it's another thing to say, okay, well, how can I actually really become this person? Because I know a lot of you guys had some really big goals and huge breakthroughs that you wanted to really start manifesting now. And if you're committed to that, how can you start to incorporate this stuff every single day? And chances are when we sort of like pull the plug of intuition week and now it's like, oh gosh, now what do I do? So you might be feeling that sort of like, 
kind of confusion, like, where am I? What do I do? What's my next step? So I would I'd love, 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 love to work with you deeper. Um, you know, we have an amazing tribe here in Life Made Simple and even closer uh, and even more incredible tribe inside of Master and Ascension. So if you have any questions, tag me here and I'd love to help. I'm going to share these five bigger, biggest words that you guys share with me, which was enlightening, amazing, wow, <laughs> uh, opening, and empowering. There's a bunch of other words, but those are the five. Oh, and deep. I guess that's six. There was a lot of uh, words that you guys used to describe Intuition Week. So I wanted to say thank you for everyone for being here, being part of it. So like being so active. It's been so fun. I still haven't read through all of the comments and everything, but thank you guys for being here. And I can't wait to work deeper with you in Mastering Ascension. I'll see you later.